Good day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18. Today we will talk about the cross of Christ. Paul wrote to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 18. He says, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Here, Paul was saying that those who have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, those that are not perishing, they acknowledge the power of of the cross that according to what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary if one would believe according to St. John 20 and verse 31 such one would be saved St. John 20 and 31 says but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah the Son of God and that believing you may have life in his name. Paul speaks to us in um, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18. That there are two groups of people in the world. And we will see today the contrast. The difference that it makes with both. So the Apostle Paul says the cross raised the issue, it was an issue for both Jews and Gentiles alike. Paul worked among both the Jews and the Gentiles. Both Jews and Gentiles were in the church at Corinth. The cross of Christ seems to be foolishness. To the Jews who expected a powerful Messiah. And the Gentiles placed their high value in human wisdom. The cross represents weaknesses, not strength. So to the Gentiles, the cross appeared to be foolishness, not wisdom. So here Paul had to address both groups because to them the death on their cross as we say was associated with all that is shameful associated with all that is dishonorable associated with that which is despised so how could salvation comes to those who trust a man who suffered who was and on a cross, a cruel death as crucifixion. There was no attraction to that which was done or to that of the cross. But we will see this morning that the cross, Jesus Christ's death, was an atoning sacrifice for the sins of both classes, whether Jew or Gentile. We will see also that people can be reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. His pardon. He saves. He influences. And it is not on our merit, but it is on the atoning sacrifice that he made for our sins. We will see that there are only two classes of people in the world and that there is no middle ground. We will see that to those that are perishing, the cross is foolishness. But to those who have believed, it is to them salvation. So we'll also see that the preaching of Christ, which is the gospel, it is for the benefit of the saving of souls, the souls of men and women who are dying in sin. Men may love their own human wisdom, but only the gospel leads to salvation 
or eternal life according to St. John 20 and verse 31. So two groups of people and the contrast is how they reacted when they heard the message, the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ is death on the cross. The people who believe that God had saved them by means of Jesus Christ's death on the cross. They believe the gospel message to them that was good news. They were sinners because the Bible said all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But they believed that Jesus Christ was the substitute. The one who took their sins away by suffering the punishment in their place and stead for all their evil deeds. For all their sins, their transgressions and their iniquities as Isaiah tells us. To the other group in contrast, they do not believe the good news to them that is not good news so this is clear evidence that they were not willing to believe and therefore was willing to pay the price for their own sins not accepting the substitute which is jesus christ himself not accepting what he did on the cross of calvary and so it seemed to be foolishness even to mention such shameful matter to them. This was an awful thing. This looks as if it is a criminal who is dying upon the cross. So, so such people, they say no. This could not be God acting to save us. So when Paul contrast to them we see it is a matter of what they believed their reaction to what they heard then we also see the people displaying their own wisdom the worldly wisdom that which finds itself in man trusting in their own self as it were pride in their own wisdom than to trust the cross because to them the cross was nonsense it was foolishness so the question is why would god send his only son to die in a on a cruel cross how could this have saving power but human no matter how intelligent they may be people who the Depend on their own human wisdom alone, the Bible says they are perishing. So Jesus died on a cross to save them. But the foolishness of such people is to refuse him. Let's say we have an example of men at sea that are drowning. And you send out a lifeboat. I am here to save you. I am here to rescue you. Just hold on. Hop aboard on this lifeboat. And you will be saved. In this situation. If they refuse. They would perish. So Paul was saying. Listen. To us who are saved. It is the power of of God to those who do not acknowledge that Jesus Christ came to give salvation by way of his death on the cross then they will perish because they don't understand that they cannot save themselves they cannot defeat sin that really threatens or control their lives they have come to trust in themselves. 
but Jesus Christ came to seek and to save those that are perishing those that would believe in him and accept this great salvation and what he has done for them on the cross of Calvary. So thus the cross which seems to be foolishness to those that are steeped in their human wisdom is really the instrument of salvation for those that would be saved or for those that are saved and are being saved so today which class do we find ourselves in as we contrast today what takes place about the response or the reaction to the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. God sent his only begotten son that none would perish, but if they believe on him would have eternal life. The Bible says he came not into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him may be saved. God throughout the lifeline through his son and those who accept the lifeline accepted life those who have not accepted the lifeline is perishing and will perish but god bless you today as we seek to embrace the cross and what Jesus Christ did for us as our substitute that we will not have to pay for our own sins because Jesus already paid all we have all we have to do is to accept and be saved God bless you and thank you again for watching